Now that we have the pedals installed, we can pair them to your head unit. In this case, we're going to use the uh, Jewel GPS Plus to do that. Uh, to pair, we want to go into the menu screen, so I'm going to hold the upper right button for three seconds. And then I'm going to scroll down to sensors and hit enter. And we'll see we have a new bike selected. If you needed to add another bike, if you have multiple bikes that these pedals are going to go on, I would recommend adding a new bike and calling that something other than new bike two. So if your bike has a name, this one happens to be a giant propel, I might put propel there. But for this case, I'm going to just enter this bike and edit and then scroll down to power sensor and new power sensor. Enter. It's going to actively search for it. It might take a few seconds for this to happen. Once it's found that sensor, I can identify the number. Uh, you have a card inside of the pedal box that um, lists what the ant ID is, which is the number that comes up on the screen. I'm just going to say yes to that. And now that pedal is paired and active inside the bike profile that I edited. Now I can go back twice to calibration. Now it's important after a fresh install to calibrate the pedals to set the manual zero. And what this does is it does a fast find on the installation angle. There's two modes that it can find the installation angle. It can go from a very wide range down to a very narrow range. Uh, over the course of about three kilometers of riding or it can do it very quickly in about 90 seconds After a fresh install it doesn't know what that installation angle is because it hasn't been set yet So you want to make sure to do that after every time you install the pedals once they're installed you, You're good to go. So I'm going to hit enter on calibration It's going to find the torque value as well as the offset now the initial offset value is always going to be 100 uh, and the torque value should be zero if nothing's touching the pedals. It's important also that the pedals are oriented so that the toe is facing up on both sides whenever you're doing a manual zero. Once the value comes up, I'm going to hit enter again. The real offset is really three. Um, and then uh, what, you're, what you can do is back out of that screen. So the enter or the interval button on top is also the back button when you're in the menu configuration. So I'm gonna go back all the way to the initial dashboard screen. And we're good.